What's going on guys, it's Draman, and today Paul George finally debuted his second signature model with the swoosh, the Nike PG2, and I'm going to be giving you 5 interesting facts that I saw on the new signature silhouette, so let's get started. First things first, when you take a look at the PG2, you'll notice that there is no strap. The strap on the PG1, which was apparently all Paul George's idea, was one of its standout features and according to Tony Hardman, the designer of the PG2, designing something without a strap while giving Paul that same locked in feel in the forefoot was a bit of a challenge. What they decided to do was start from the inside out by adding a little stretch zone around the medials and forefoot to provide an easy entry for any foot shape or size, which will then adapt to the user's foot when they lace up with the dynamic lacing system that utilizes two wings in the forefoot for a strapped and like feel, but also eliminates some of the issues users had with the PG1 where the strap was just a little too long for narrow feet. The next interesting fact on the PG2 is the improved cushioning. Last year, the PG1 featured an eight millimeter zoom bag in the forefoot which I found to be extremely comfortable however some users noted that they couldn't feel the zoom as much as they wanted to and even PG himself wanted to get more out of the bag so this time around the swoosh replaced the 8 millimeter zoom with the 10 millimeter top loaded zoom airbag in the forefoot if you're not familiar with what top loaded zoom is it basically means that your foot is going to be sitting directly on the zoom airbag with nothing in between and this is going to allow you to get the most out of the zoom air and is widely considered as the preferred way to experience zoom as opposed to the bottom loaded setup which means that there's some type of foam in between your foot and a zoom air bag. Next fact is that this limited edition PS4 colorway is inspired by Paul George's love of gaming. According to PG himself, as soon as I discovered PlayStation, I was throwing hints here and there to my dad, cutting out the clipping of a video game, cutting out the clippings of the PlayStation and leaving it on the dresser. Paul also shares that one Christmas morning he unwrapped the gift and sure enough, it was the PS2 and he's been a PlayStation guy ever since. This limited edition colorway also features a power on button on the inside of the tongue which activates a three mode led lighting system powered by lithium batteries on the front of the tongue so you can stunt in front of your friends in the dark which is actually something paul george could have used during the dunk contest back in 2012. the next fact of the pg2 is that music and fishing inspired the design of the pg2's outsole tony hardman explains that the inspiration behind attraction pattern on the pg2 is cymatics which is how sound frequencies affect water surfaces. Now we all know that Paul George absolutely loves to fish during his spare time, but a little known fact you may not know is that he has a music studio in his house. But then again, you may have already known that because pretty much every NBA player has a music studio in their house. The next fact of the PG2 is actually not a fact at all. It's an opinion specifically your opinion. I posted a photo of the PG2 on my Instagram and asked you guys what you think about them. Here's what some of you guys had to say. N25K underscore says straight flames. That four foot band at the front looks a lot like the Kyrie 3 and I think it'll do more for the lockdown than a strap did. These look like they'll perform about the same with better lockdown and hopefully better traction. Jake.0 says they look aight. Aesthetically not feeling the plastic slash patent leather heel support but otherwise not bad. Not too keen on the forefoot support either. In my opinion, Nike seemed to have cheaped out on these. They just appear subpar from the PG-1. Finally, the Wong Kicks ads absolutely love the look of them and hoping performance is just as good. So there you guys have it. Those were five interesting facts on the Nike PG-2. I myself am very excited to cop this PlayStation colorway because as you can see, I'm a PlayStation guy myself. This colorway is set to release on February 10th in limited quantities on Nike.com and the sneakers app. Let me know in the comment section below whether or not you're planning on picking up a pair for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you leave me a like. That helps me out a lot. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name's Jaren. It's been great having you. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Here is your first look at the 2018 NBA All-Star Game jerseys. Now right off the bat, let me just tell you guys, I was not completely sold on this design when I first saw them. I thought it was just a little too simple, that black and white. It looked a little incomplete. But after I saw this photo, which is a mock-up of Steph and LeBron wearing the jerseys, 